about to turn the handle on this uh, prize rod from last year's species contest. Here's my setup. This is my cork lathe I got going here. Home built, of course, courtesy of Axeman. Spins real nice on there. All right, we're gonna crank up the sander and get this handle shaped real quick. Just getting everything with a, with a very coarse sandpaper. I'm just getting everything to a rough generally smooth shape here and get rid of the epoxy on the outside of everything. Um, and I'm deciding on the shape of this handle. I think I'm going to go with a little bulge in and out here and come back down to the butt because I've got a separate piece of cork to put on the butt. Um, but I'm not going to go with the straight handle on this one. It's going to have some curl to it. thing too is this burl cork, this darker cork here, the green and the dark brown, it takes a lot more pressure to sand that stuff so it tends to bulge out a little bit where you have some of that in. I'm kind of gauging what I want to do with this handle. I want something similar to this one that I made. I just like that, that nice taper on a little bit longer handle like this. I'll probably try to do something pretty similar there. So I'm going to gauge just about where I want that main dip to be in the handle. I'll plant it for about right at that stripe, right there. And come back out to a rounded point. Taper down at the front. This is a medium light rod, so I don't want too chunky of a handle on it. close to the diameter that I want, right by the reel seat here. So I think I'll leave that alone and keep that taper about the same. Try to bring it down right around in here, and then I'll worry about the top part. it or not, but that's the way it turned out. I'll take some fine sandpaper now. <coughs> uh, it's, cork dust is just great for you too, especially that burl that's dyed green. this down a bit here. I like that knob, it's pretty cool, but this this burl ring right here needs to just come come down a little bit to get back to the hardcore sandpaper. It's 
definitely got a unique line to it. That's cool. I like it. That's pretty wicked cool. Here's the, uh, the butt that I ended up doing for this rod. I used a uh, bit of a wine cork, a Chablis to be exact, and I uh, finished off the butt in a nice rounded cork way. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? 